Hey guys, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do something very horrible. And what we're going to do is UV mapping. Okay. Now, almost everybody I know kind of hates UV mapping because it's tedious, it's boring, it's somewhat complicated and so forth. Okay. Now, there are a few tutorials out there um, that are mainly focused on UV mapping for characters. Uh, some on how to uh, UV map a simple cube, but very little on how to UV map objects like, you know, bedrooms, tables, chairs, and so forth. So I just created this simple table here, and uh, if we select this guy in object mode, and we hit 3 on our keyboard, we see it as it's intended to be. Okay, and we're just going to select it and hit one so this is our basic cube and what we're going to do is we're going to uv this all right now what is uv'ing anyway okay if we go up to edit uv's uv texture editor you kind of see i don't know what this is but anyway um you got four quadrants here right and the one we're focusing on is the one where you see this circle so it's the top right uh, square okay so the other three forget about those all right now you see a green line and a red line here now why is it called UV U and V are two directions in a flat surface okay so UV mapping is pretty similar to wrapping a piece of paper around a football for example okay so if we want this table to look realistic we would take an image of a wood texture or multiple images and we would project them on our model to give it a real look and feel. That's kind of what UV mapping is, okay? But before we do that, there's a method to help us out. Now, what is that about? If we just simply slap on a texture file of wood, it could be stretched in some areas and not in other areas and so forth, and it would look off, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to apply a checkered material to the entire table so we can see if our UVs are properly set up before we actually apply the wood texture. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right click object mode. We're going to select the entire thing. Then right click assign new material. Lambert. We're just going to hit our checkered box here and look for checker. This one right here. Okay, if we then hit this guy, you'll see that the checker is applied, but already you can see in some areas it's quite off, if you will. All right, now when we create UV maps, and what's a UV map? It's the thing I just showed you. So, this thing right here. Okay, when we create that, we have a couple of options. We can select an object, which is important, otherwise you won't see anything in your texture editor. And we can go to Create UVs, and we have the option for planar mapping, cylindrical mapping, spherical mapping, and automatic mapping. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use automatic mapping unless you have to, because the system kind of makes assumptions. But with planar, cylindrical, and spherical, you can get a long way. Okay? So let's start doing that. Now here you have a very obvious um, sphere, okay? And we want to get this kind of squared pattern going on. So with that sphere selected, we're gonna go up to create UVs and click on spherical mapping. And already you see that the squares have been applied. Now they're a little bit stretched out, so we're going to right click go to object mode make sure that's selected go to edit uvs uv texture editor right click go to uv drag select the whole thing and hit r and let's kind of just pull that out until your squares look more like squares okay not too bad all right so that's that. So do we have other spheres in this shot? Yes, we do. One down here. And like I said, you can see that this doesn't exactly look like decent squares, right? So I'm going to 
right click, go to object mode, select that, create UVs, spherical mapping. And again, somewhat stretched out. So right click, object mode, select it, edit UVs, UV texture editor, right click UVs, drag select the whole thing, hit R, and we're gonna create something that looks like a decent cube and we have one seam down here so we need to kind of make sure that spacing wise that looks okay that looks pretty clean okay so that's that let's close that what else do we got we got this guy up here and that is pretty much a cylinder Okay, so create UVs, cylindrical mapping. And again, it has created cubes, but they're stretched. Right click object mode, select that, go to edit UVs, UV texture editor, right click UVs, drag select that, hit R, and we are going to, in this case, stretch that out. And if you actually want to approach the size that you have in the sphere beneath that one, that's possible. Not necessary per se, but possible. You'd probably have something like this. Pretty close. Okay. We got this one down here. Right click object mode. Same deal. Create UVs. Cylindrical mapping. Right click UV. Drag select. Hit R, we're gonna start to scale that out somewhat and try to approach the size that we already have. And again, it doesn't have to be identical as long as it's not warped, stretched and so forth, okay? So we got those. We got this guy in the middle here, right click object mode, oops, there we go. And again, that's kind of a cylinder, right? So create cylindrical mapping, which gives you another UV. Right click UV, drag select, hit R, and start to bring that in. And that already looks fairly okay. Maybe we can just uh, scale the whole thing up just a little bit. Then we have this guy down here, right click object mode, there we go. Create UVs, again, it's a cylinder, so cylindrical mapping, right click UV, hit R, we're gonna scale that out and up, uh, the other way around, uh, there we go. about right okay so we got that then we have the outside of the table so initially we'll just take the entire table and project it from this side so create UVs cylindrical mapping once again right click UVs drag select hit R let's push that in Let's do that, not bad. Now the top and the bottom obviously are not correct yet. So we are going to right click on the face. We're gonna select that outer edge and then shift select the entire tabletop, which will select the bottom as well. Now that's a planar map. So we are gonna go, did I get everything? Yeah, it looks like, okay. So we're gonna go to create UVs, planar map. Right. right click UV, drag select. We can decide, to, like before, to change that pattern somewhat. But all in all, not bad. Okay. 
Now for the legs. Now that is a bit more complicated because it's not a sphere, it's not a cylinder, it's a plane, but it's multiple planes. We'll try automatic mapping. Okay, so we'll go to object mode. That isn't even a bad idea. Okay, cool. And we'll select these guys. Object mode, object mode, and object mode. Create UVs, automatic mapping. All right. And again, the purpose is to create a checkered pattern that is not completely stretched, warped, and so forth. Okay. Okay, it looks like we need to tweak this a little bit. Mainly this right here. So from this perspective, I'm going to move in, right click, face, we're going to drag select this, not that, try that again, there we go, just the faces. better okay and we're gonna go do create UVs uh, cylindrical mapping UV texture editor UV and I just want this guy so select select UV hit W pull that down Move that in, hit R, pull that out. And that looks all right. Okay. So now that we've got all that stuff, we are going to right click object mode, select the whole deal, right click assign new material, Lambert. Go to my color checkered box. I'm going to select a file. There we go. And that file is called wood texture. Now let's see how that works out for us. Okay. So the top of our table looks the way it should. The edge of our table looks okay because it's projected in the right direction. The spheres are wrapped nicely. So are these sections. This guy is wrapped okay. And these guys have a grain going down and they're all symmetrical. So now if I go to object mode, drag select my entire table, hit three on my keyboard to soften that. And there is my UV table. Now, this is a pretty basic approach. Uh, it gets a lot more complicated when you are uh, unwrapping and stitching and cutting UVs and so forth, but hopefully this will get you started. So uh, if you've got any questions about this, let me know. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.